Welcome to the DFM 190 Project Planning and Development Project 1 Instructor Tutorial. This one's going to be pretty short. I'm just going to show you step by step how to create that uh, PDF portfolio using Adobe Acrobat. The rest of the assignment is just a written assignment, so I won't be demoing that. So I've downloaded everything I need from the course site and I've saved it into this DFM 190 Project 1 folder. It includes the Project 1 instructions and also the example production forms zip folder, which I will unzip. And you can see I've got all of the forms I need here. These are already filled out forms. Uh, we just wanted to give you an example of what these forms should look like when they're filled out correctly. You don't need to fill out any of these forms. Uh, you just need to compile them into one PDF document. So let's take a look at the assignment instructions. Uh, what you'll need is your laptop, Adobe Acrobat DC, Microsoft Word, or a similar software where you, where you can type up your summaries, and also the example production forms .zip that I just showed you and unzipped. Okay, so to create your uh, PDF portfolio, you're going to be using Adobe Acrobat and the provided PDFs that are in that example production forms uh, .zip folder. So I'm going to find Adobe Acrobat here. Oh, there it is. I'm going to open this program. And I'm going to go create and then combine files into single PDF. This is how I'm going to get all of those other PDFs into one document here. Okay, so I want to add files. I can either drag and drop or I can click here and I've saved them on my desktop in this folder in the example production forms folder. I'm just going to click on the first one, hold down the shift key, click on the last one to select them all and choose add files. Okay, here are all my files here. And if you see a number in parentheses, that's actually how many pages are in that one document. Uh, so now I just need to make sure that they are in the correct order. And that order is listed here in the assignment instructions. Uh, so first I want my scripts. Oops, I'm running out of room here. So you can just drag these and reorder them like so. Okay. Uh, next, I want my script breakdown. So let's find that. Here's my script breakdown. Be careful you don't accidentally hit the trash can, which will delete these here. Oh, sorry. Uh, then my script breakdown sheets and my beat breakdown ch chart. Script breakdown sheets and beat breakdown chart is already here. Then I will get my storyboards and shot list. Here are my storyboards and shot list and then overhead shot diagrams is next cast list crew list again I'm just clicking and dragging these schedule one line schedule day out of days and call sheets and finally the last one was the budget so now that I've got everything in the right order you might want to double check this before you move on to the next step uh, you can combine these just hit combine up here and they are all in one PDF document now you can see I've got 63 pages and if I were to scroll through this <laughs> fairly quickly uh, you can see that everything is here in this PDF document okay then I just want to save this and if you're unfamiliar with this kind of screen here I always like to hit choose a different folder and then it gives me this one that I'm a little more comfortable with and you can just save that wherever you need to and you're going to use the naming convention let's see save your PDF portfolio 
with this naming convention. I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Go back to Acrobat. Okay, this will be your first name and your last name, underscore production Bible. Save. And if I navigate back to that, you can see if I double click it, again, I've got 63 pages here, all in the correct order. If you want to double check it, that's great. And if I go back to my assignment instructions, the next two steps are just to work on your production form summaries. You can do that in Microsoft Word. You can do that in uh, Pages program. You're just going to save that uh, and then export that as a PDF with this naming convention here. And then you will include both of those in one folder. You can zip that folder. You can name the folder this here, Project 1. You can zip that folder and upload that zip file to the course site to submit your assignment.